I just want to touch on a pretty simple concept tonight, but one that I probably bring up as much as any other uh, in my day-to-day -day life and, and things I deal with. Um, so the, the saying I use, which I, I don't think I coined it, I think it's probably a, a known thing, but um, is it almost sounds stupid, but it's, it's easy when it's easy, it's hard when it's hard. Um, and again, it sounds obviously super intuitive and not much to it, but I find it to actually be really, really impactful and useful. Um, what I mean by it is, and I'll give you some examples, um, I say it to my son a lot, um, because particularly at six years old, um, there's, there's always a struggle of like, you know, how you act, controlling your emotions, controlling yourself. And, you know, if you're a good kid, which he's a good kid, um, he wants to be good. He wants to do the right thing. He wants to be a good son and all that stuff. But sometimes he just gets so excited and he needs to do something else. Um, so what I'll say to him is, you know, there'll be times during the day where everything's calm. Um, everything's going his way. You know, he's able to watch TV or relax or have a snack and do something he wants to do. Um, and he'll, you know, in that moment, tell his mom that he loves her or, you know, do something nice and help somebody pick something up, whatever it is. Um, and then, you know, you compare that to another moment where he's got to do his homework and he doesn't want to, or, um, you know, it's, it's almost time for bed and he's got to take a shower and he wants to keep watching TV, whatever it is. And then he turns into, you know, a different person and, you know, there's no, I love you, mom. It's yelling and it's, you know, all those different things. Um, so again, the simple point being, it's easy when it's easy, when everything's going your way, when everything's smooth, when you're happy, um, it's really easy in that scenario to be a good son and to be a good kid and, you know, be all sweet and loving and all that stuff. It's when it's hard, right? When it's not that ideal scenario, you're not getting what you want. Um, you're maybe being asked to do something you don't want to do. Now it's gotten hard. Can you still be the good, respectful son? Can you still do it then when it's hard? Because um, it's hard to do when it's hard. But that's perhaps the most impressive thing, to be able to do that. Um, I could even use myself as an example, which I bring up all the time, is my, my big issue is my temper. Um, and there'll be moments where, you know, it's a Friday afternoon, work's done for the week, everything's, you know, going pretty good. Um, nice, relaxed day. Maybe we're ordering dinner, don't have to cook. Everything's really nice and smooth. And something happens, something spills, something breaks. Okay, no big deal, I can handle it. I can do all the things I wanna do. Make that a Monday, <laughs> midday, middle of work stuff. You know, things are stressed, uh, trying to help, you know, with the coronavirus, everything going on, trying to help my son with the schooling and all that. Um, and that same thing happens and I lose my shit and, and everything's out the window. And I say to myself all the time, it's easy when it's easy, obviously, and it's hard when it's hard. So again, use that to illustrate it. Why I think it's so important is one, just the simplicity of it is so true, right? And I've talked about mental toughness before. I've talked about, you know, do, having that courage to, to do the right thing and all that stuff. I think this is an example of it, right? Being able to do the hard thing when it's hard, not just in theory, not just conceptually, not just, you know, in that vein, but actually do it um, is, is a huge thing. That's, that's, that's the character that you want to be. It allows you to, to live the values you want to live at all times, not just when it's easy. But the other thing that I've, I've found that's, that's relevant or important about the topic is the easy when it's easy part. Because what happens all too often is people take those moments when it's easy. Um, and again, whatever the thing is, if it's keeping your te temper in check, if it's, you know, as a kid, you know, being respectful to your parents or whatever, listening. Um, when, when it's easy and those moments happen and you do it, you start to tell yourself a story and you start to build this little bit of a case of like, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I got this under control. Um, yeah, there's some, some one-offs maybe, but you focus more on the times you got it right. And I see this happen all the time, for example, like when I'm, if I'll be in an argument with my wife um, and we're arguing about whatever the topic is, it's, it's, it's easy for me to find examples and say, no, 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 I, I did the right thing. And, you know, I could list off all those times when it was easy for me to do the right thing. Um, and, and those are the ones that are in my mind. Um, it fits into the narrative that I want, that I'm a good person, that I'm, you know, in control of myself and all that. Um, you, you rarely will, will reflect on the times when it was hard and you blew it. You might justify that away and say, well, there was a reason there, it was something different, or just dismiss it altogether. Um, so there's this false perception when it's easy that you're doing the right thing, that you're, that you're living to the expectations and the values that you want to live with. It, it kind of fools you into that, gives you that false sense of confidence around it. Um, so all the more reason to be aware of that phrase and, and think about that. 
Um, and, I, and I try and think about it, obviously, in the times when it's hard, right? As, I, as the hard times happening, say like, hey, this is it. This is when it's hard to actually, you know, act the way I should. Um, but also, as I say, when it's easy. So when, when things are going well and, I'm, and I say, hey, I, I did the right thing there, don't give myself too much credit. Like, hey, that, that was the easy one. <laughs> that was the easy one to get through. Um, so just another one of those tools I try and use and kind of concepts I try and instill um, to really, you know, what I used to think it was was more tricking your mind. Um, and maybe there's something to that, but I don't think it's tricking as much as to just, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a marathon. It's a battle constantly with your mind and you need to be, con it's, it's always, you know, trying to overrun with the heuristics and the biases and all the other things we do to take shortcuts and reserve mental resources. You have to put forth that equal amount of effort on the other side to combat that and to fight it off. Um, and again, this is just another one of those tools to do it. And ultimately, I still think it comes back to that mental toughness point, And this helps you build that, um, you know, doing the hard thing when it's hard. Um, so I think it's, it's very strongly relates to that and, and can be very valuable.